That ball is headed for the corner. Now Matuk is headed for third. He's going to be waved in. Here's the Machado relay. The tag. They got him. They got him. They got him. They got him at the plate. And that's how the ball game ends. As they save the tying run in the top of the ninth inning. I'm Ariel Lagami with the MLB.com FastCast. The Baltimore Orioles needed some late-inning heroics on Friday to maintain their tie with the Blue Jays atop the American League wildcard standings. An eighth-inning rally against the Rays came after J.J. Hardy knocked in a run to square things up at four, and Michael Bourne helped the O's secure the lead with a sack fly. The game went down to the wire with Bourne, Manny Machado, and Matt Wieters teaming up for a brilliant play at the plate for the final out of a 5-4 win. Now let's have a look at the rest of Friday's action. Deep, back at the wall, Braun! Game over! Cubs win! Cubs win! Clinch last night, a walk-off win in 10 innings here today, and let the party begin. Hanley launches one to center field, but it's caught a home run! Hanley Ramirez, his second home run in as many days. This one is back, this one is gone! A home run, Jackie Bradley Jr. Upton drifting toward the line, he can't see it! Ball hits on the track, it hits off the wall, and jumps over the 19-foot wall! That'll be a two-run double for Mike Napoli! And the Indians manhandle the Tigers tonight in every phase of the game. A two-run home run for Tulowitzki. The Blue Jays are in flight here in Southern California. Bringing a drive deep to left field. This one is way back and got number 40 for Encarnacion. And it's 6-0 Houston, and they are taking advantage of Felix Hernandez. Through seven, six nothing on a great night by Colin McHugh. There's Turner, and there's the ball game. The Dodgers hang on, and now the magic number is down to 12. That ball is gone to right field, and the Mets have a lead one to nothing. Home run Cabrera! Back to back for the Mets, it's two to nothing. The New York Mets keep on rolling. With two out of the top of the second inning, the Nationals have played it three. It's now the Nationals five and the Braves nothing. For Max Scherzer, this is now the 18th time this season he has thrown seven or more innings while allowing two earned runs or fewer. It's gone, a three-run over. Sox do take the lead. Sanchez indeed recovers from three strikeouts. Struck him out swinging. And Sale moves to 16 wins. Finish things off for his sixth complete game of the year. Swinging a hard ground ball. Pass third. It's a base hit. One run is home. Here comes Gallo. He scores and the Rangers win it. Jonathan Lucroy delivers a two-run double. And Posey is a high drive to left. It is out of here. And nobody's there to shake his hand. They're giving him the silent treatment, ain't he? <laughs> Line drive, base hit, that'll do it. Jimmy Paredes with the base hit to score the run. Peter Moore just comes across to the Bills, walk it off. And they win it in the bottom of the 13th with a line drive, base hit. And a swing and a line drive, base hit in the left field. Florian Moen is in. Mercer drives in the go-ahead run here in the 10th. The Rockies rally for three of the night, and they defeated the Padres 8-7. What a gratifying win. Are you kidding me with the at-bats that the Rockies just pieced together? For more on these stories and for the latest from around the league on Friday, stay locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.